And before we get started, I am aware that the extracted sound in this YouTube video does not play. That was done intentionally because of copyright, but it does work. Make sure you join our Facebook group, Girl How You Do That. And make sure you watch the entire tutorial as I answer most of the common questions in the video, guys. Please watch the whole thing. What you're going to do is start a new project and you are going to hit in the search iPhone and it's going to give you the perfect dimensions.
anything that you want to move together, you group them. So I'm grouping the name and the sign together and you're gonna to go to animations. And honestly, I just picked whatever animations the speed. I increased it or decreased it. Um, I looked at the fades, so on and so forth. And I did this until I like them. So you'll see me playing around with a few of the bones and if it's gonna do it when it enters, so on and so forth. So if you look at the upper right hand side, it says that this particular frame is five seconds. So what I wound up doing y'all is I just duplicated that page and you'll see what I mean. And I played around with some more of the animation. So I'm just going through to see what I want to move, how much of it I want to move at the speed, okay? This is completely up to you. You don't want everything on the page moving because that's a complete distraction. So I try to get the cute stuff to move or the things that I'm like the sign, the date, stuff like that is what you want to move. You don't want to move too much on the page because it can be overwhelming. And here I am duplicating that video. So since each clip was five seconds, I duplicated that five times, which gave me the 25 second video. Um, you're gonna share and you're gonna download it as an MP4. Right here we are on YouTube and I am screen recording the sound that I want to use. And since it's for Sesame Street, and this is only for tutorial and teaching purposes, um, everybody used in here is actually fake and they are models and this will not be sold. But I'm screen recording how long I want it to be. So I said about 25 seconds, um, which was perfect. And so after I screen record, I take this into CapCut and extract the sound. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. You're gonna install CapCut and hit new project and grab your video of your invitation. And we're gonna place that inside of CapCut. Um, you hit add all. And this looks good to me, perfectly fine. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll over and we're going to find where it says audio and you're gonna do extract sound. And you're gonna find that same clip that you just screen recorded from wherever you screen recorded it from and you're gonna import that into CapCut. Now y'all see where that line is right there? That's letting me know that blue bar is where the sound begins. So I'm actually going to clip that down to make sure it starts exactly where that blue bar starts for me. I had a little bit of commercial playing, so I had to clip that down. And so what I did is I just hit the split button that's right there, I'll circle it for you. Then using my finger, I just slid it all the way to the left so that it plays at the entrance point. And this worked out perfectly fine. I played it all the way through. And then once I was sure that the sound in the clip was long enough, because remember, I wanted it to be 25 seconds. Um, I know it said 20, but I'm re-recording for y'all. The original one was 25. Um, what I did was if you hold your finger over that bar, it's going to give you something like for the speed. So we'll, we'll get there. Um, I did fade it out. So right there at the bottom where it says fade, I do fade it out so it's not still loud when it's going on or going out. So now, now I'm scrolling. I'm gonna take that cap cut part out and hit delete. And then now what I'm gonna do is, y'all see it right there? I'm taking where it says speed and I'm sliding it over to the 25 seconds for the video and making sure the video is at 25 seconds to match the music. So if that happens to you, just use the speed. I'm gonna circle it right there, it says the normal. Um, and then you would just change how slow or how fast the video is going. After that, you're gonna hit that upper right hand, um, the arrow in the upper right hand corner, and then you're gonna save it and you're done. 